Hello, Toxic Ink here. Today, this is a short SFM tutorial on how to use your camera in between shots. So this is something I had trouble with um, for a while now. I've been trying to figure it out and I think I finally found a way. I've been looking around on YouTube and I haven't been able to find anything. So I thought I might as well make this video, get get that space filled out. Am I right? All right, so here I already have the main the main thing set up. I already have the the set, the character, everything. I got other animations done. Everything. So just a few tips. So if you're so if you're gonna be making animations, first off, you're gonna want to make. I learned this off of the SFM tutorial. Um, you're gonna want to make like a master shot, something that contains all the animations and the work from there. Like, like each time an animation, like a animation set's done, move, move your camera to the next one, and then record from there. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to do this. So I already have it. Had it set on one of my inklings that I set around this map. This map is called Suburbia, by the way. Team Fortress 2 map. And. I'm just gonna continue here. So, what you're gonna wanna do here is that you're gonna want to find the end of the animation for the model you chose. So then, old tip, you, whatever you're doing the animations, like you're setting up the animations, you are going to want to make sure that you have time for everything, for your camera to move around the map. Now I know it does sound kind of, what's the word, weird for me to say it. That wasn't exactly what I was looking for, but I'll go for it anyways. Um, but because the way I'm going to be showing it is that it's going to be like a snap, like it's going to cut to a different area. Now, I know that does sound a bit weird for what I told you to do, but if you want to make it shorter, Source Filmmaker was actually really smart. Well, I mean, Blender does that too, but it's kind of a little bit easier because you can move multiple you can see how and the graph editor is going to affect the animations and everything so back on topic find the end of the animation I'm hoping to give it at least a second before it decides to move so then 26 seconds so then what you're going to want to do is press back insert a keyframe using M and then, I don't know how it's going to be programmed. I don't know how... I'm not sure if this is just standard. I'm not sure if this is something you control. But you're going to notice that whenever you do it, the camera's going to... It's going to be this curve here. And that curve represents the camera's movements. So, what you're going to want to do is that you see these down here. You're going to want to click on them. And then highlight both the points that the keyframes are at. And this is a little trick I learned. You could go up here, click flat tangents, and then it should automatically straighten it up for you. Just a quick little side note, you don't have to do this. This is completely just for the camera. I just like to do this for the camera. Super easy. Just remember that little fact. Save you a whole bunch of time. For the people that are wanting to do this manually, I, you are gonna have to be super precise, cause the, cause the graph is so sen sensitive that it'll detect the slightest dip or rise. Speaking graph-wise, I like to do it this way, cause it'll make it flat, super flat. It won't. It won't add little curves to to the animation. So just do it all 
do it to all of these just in case make sure that if you have a line like this make sure you get the point that's the point that's right here now there's actually two points right here let me see if i can show you there's two points right here you're gonna want to get this point right here if you do if you get this one it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna mess up your animation majorly i can only imagine Okay, so since you're done with that, you can go back and check it just to make sure that it doesn't decide to move. Here, you can see it's clear. Okay, so now, back to this point, to this one. So, now to the part of shots. So, I'm gonna, so what you're gonna do is that you're gonna want to go to the shot editor. Um, already have, already you've been working on this for a little bit. And the way I did this, I'm not sure if this is a way that people would actually do it. I just kind of found this out on my own. It's a dandy little trick. <laughs> but I'm not sh sure on how people did this. Just to be clear. Just a quick little disclaimer. I am... Still, I'm I'm new to Source Filmmaker, and I'm not sure if you guys are gonna trust me with this. But hear me out. I'm not. So, this is what you're gonna do. So, this key right here, you're gonna want to move one past it, and then you're gonna want to go to the to the shot editor. Then press B for blade. But what this does is that it makes a new shot. So then after that, what you're gonna, gonna want to do is click on your new shot. Go to the graph editor. Well, you don't have to go to the graph editor. You could work in the motion editor in some way. But for me, I'm used to Blender, and I like the graph editor. I like that it shows me what I'm doing. I like that it shows me how it's gonna play out. I like how... I like... Well, yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so, you're gonna... So, when you click the shot, it's gonna deselect the camera, so you're gonna wanna click, click on that again. And then right on the beginning of this one, click up just in case, cause, well, not up. You're gonna want to go to the beginning of the shot, and you can tell what the shot is, by this uh, highlighted portion. See that there's like a cut where it's dark and light. You're gonna want to go right in the middle of there. That indicates the beginning of the shot. Then you're gonna want to click M again to make another keyframe. Then you're going to move to your next location. Set it up. Then it should be set. Just just go through it just to check. See it works. And that's about it. Now. That's about all I wanted to show you today. But for Source Filmmaker. I do like it. There are some parts that I don't like about this, like for example. So I'm gonna click on this model right here. And you can't just click on it in the viewport like you can with Blender. You actually have to find it in here. The model your whole list of things. Now if you're going to you see these little diamonds? These are the bones, but you can't exactly... It's kind of hard to control them with, especially if what you're using, what model you're using, and this gives me some inkling. Um, it's going to be hard to, hard to use, because if you click control, you can see all these bones pop up. And sometimes it could get hard, especially if you're 
model uh, has a backpack or something. Because you could click on try clicking on one of the bones, but then you could actually end up clicking on on what in what my case is the ink tape. But still, I like this uh, program. The main reason I decided to get this program was for the models, because you can move because you can move the eyes, eyebrows, mouth with uh, the actual model itself, not having to actually render multiple scenes and move and in between each scene like move the mouth um honestly this system is sort of similar to blender cuz it does have a quote unquote parenting cuz when i say quote unquote it actually uses zero over here just a little, just to let you know, um, you actually have to be in the motion editor for it for you to use these things. Just a little, for these ones you can be in the graph editor, that works too. But for these ones, for like for like the camera, for example, you have to be in the motion editor. But good system, multiple models. Uh, you can check out you can check out all the models in the. Source Filmmaker community, get the models there. Quick warning, you do have to have a Steam account for this to work. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Just something I'd like to add really quick. Um, the what I was using to make this video is actually part of my story. Um, I will be sending out a preview of it maybe tomorrow if I don't mess anything up but that's about it that's all about that's about all I wanted to add thanks for watching if you enjoyed see you later